Hey there, YouTubers, right? So I have decided I'm going to take the motherboard out of this Dell Inspiron 3670. We're going to just basically sit it uh, on top of a box like that one's doing. Connect a different power supply, uh, graphics card, whatever, you know. And, and then I'm probably eventually going to upgrade the CPU to the i7-9700F that I have lying around. Uh, tempting, actually. Maybe the i9, I don't know. But, uh, you know, there is a uh, power button that's that's pretty much embedded in the motherboard, uh, which is a bummer because otherwise you'd probably be able to take this and put it in a different case, right? Huge headache otherwise. But uh, let's get started, okay? We've already yapped for almost a minute. Now, things to be concerned with, and uh, honestly don't, really recommend following in my footsteps on this but uh concerns that you guys should have is that you will bust your uh, wi-fi connector all right now for me i'm not that concerned about it but uh i i do hate the fact that there's a good chance it will get broken all right so we're just gonna take out our cables for now so hopefully we'll get this out of here uh, try and put you know everything to the, the side and I'm thinking maybe we get you guys a better camera angle so soon I'm gonna have a setup I believe where I will be able to film with three cameras at once and I think that'll be pretty cool for the channel so SATA this is SATA for the CD-ROM drive and we'll go ahead and disconnect the power supply and then this is probably for the CPU Most likely, yeah, that's just an extension cable. Okay, so most of this crap's out of the way. Now, there's probably at least six to eight screws in here. Now one could, you know, I've seen a lot of these type of computers where you can buy the motherboard. And I've, I've wondered if you buy it, you know, will that one actually have a licensed copy of Windows? <laughs> now one thing you also notice, there is an upgraded CPU cooler in here, right? You're probably like, wow, that thing's huge. What did he do? Um, it took me a while, folks, to find... Out of my massive collection of, there's a few of them back here, but massive collection of CPU coolers to actually find one that would uh, would fit this thing. The posts have to be perfect. So we're just going around, folks, finding finding screws. And I hope I don't have to take the CPU cooler off. This is the, the kind that's kind of a hassle. We'll go ahead and disconnect the CPU power connector. And... So I don't know where we're at. Four or five screws? There's a good chance the CPU cooler is going to have to come out, which is a bummer, but... Now the Wi-Fi cable, folks, that's really going to concern me, um, getting that out of here without breaking it. Alright, so these cables are completely in the way. guys can't see this one back 
here in the corner. You always want to have a magnetic uh, Phillips head. So this is uh, interesting, folks. We may have to punch the front of this off. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do that. This thing's not even moving. Um, another screw down here. But it feels like there's more screws on here. So there's one right above the power supply that I just got. Okay, so... Let us uh, pop this off. I don't think I've ever taken the front cover off. Let me get you guys a better angle here, okay? This is important stuff, right? Okay. So that's what this looks like. Um, these have rivets in them. Wow. How the heck do we get that off, folks? We're going to have to take the power supply out at some point. Um, so I may have some other screws to take out. And this kind of case doesn't have a way to access the back. There is no right hand panel. And all these other things are rivets. So let's go ahead and take, at a minimum, the CPU fan off. See if there are some other screws in here that we're missing. Can't get it off there, dang it. Okay. Come on. And then four pin. Get that out. And our two brackets, all right which you guys won't have. So I see another screw. We'll go ahead and take the ram out because it's in the way of the, uh, potentially, of the screwdriver. All right. So here is another screw right here. And still, folks, it's not even budging. Hmm. I'm trying to pop the CPU cooler off. Got to take them off. <laughs> I really hate this design. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to screw with that. You guys obviously won't have to deal with that. Alright, so I've removed uh, four of the screws. <laughs> I didn't have the patience to uh, mess with getting this thing off. The ring. Um, so, that's out now. Alright, did we miss any screws, folks? I do not see any. And I don't know if this thing is uh, glued to the bottom. But it does not want to come out. This is usually where you know you take a break and check out somebody else's YouTube video. But uh, we don't like to do that. So the antennas, they attach up here, 
in here. Um, interesting enough. Now over here, folks, this is... We have to somehow get this off here. And if we're lucky, that screw is going to do the trick. Because there's no way this is coming out otherwise. So we'll take that screw out. Voila. And there's got to be glue under this thing. Oh, now it's moving around. Okay, let's see here. So to be honest with you, it looks like this has to pop out first. Um, come a little forward and then pop up and out. But I'm not sure what, in the, what, in the, you know what, is holding it down. I see no more screws in here. So this right here that is the only thing stopping us from getting this out of here now. Um, I don't know if you can just pop that out of there. So we can't just do that. I don't know if that is glued on there. So that comes up. I'm just hoping there's one screw in here that we missed, folks. <laughs> and I don't see it. Now you definitely don't want to drop hardware and uh, screwdrivers onto this motherboard. I'm leaving a CPU in there to protect the pins. But part of me wants to take all the stuff out. Not that it's going to help, but we'll go ahead and take the power supply out. And you do not want to take it out in this position. So we're going to just take two screws out and rotate it. You know, once you buy one of these here desktops, you pretty much never want to buy another desktop. Um, I've had this for so many years. This had a i3 83, excuse me, i3 8100 in it many years ago. Now it has the i5 9400F, but I have been tempted to put a. Uh, Either put my i3 8300 in it or put the i7 9700F in. Okay, so we still are not making any progress. 
Um, time check YouTube. Well, we still haven't figured it out yet, folks. Um, there's only one screw left in here. And that is for the M.2. Could that be uh, holding this thing in place? There's a good chance it might have, but who knows. Alright, so coming in from the other side. Got to lift this thing up and boom. So that's what it was. The M.2 screw. Um, who would ever thought? And you can see that that post lines up now you'll want to disconnect the uh, the Wi-Fi or if you don't do it this way should did it while it was down in there um, if you do not do it here then you're going to either have to clip the cables or work your way to where these things terminate. And so we don't want to do that. We're going to spare this card in case I ever put this back in here, which I don't think I will. So there is our motherboard, folks, finally. God, that took forever. Our motherboard without Wi-Fi, right? Now, the rest of the cables that are in here, we do need to pull the CPU power uh, connector, possibly. Or not. We might not need this. Actually, it's just an extension cable. Uh, we don't need it. Alright, let's get set up. So, one thing, the case had uh, threaded posts in it for the uh, CPU cooler. So when we decide on what CPU cooler we're going to have to use, um, it's going to have to have a back plate most likely. All right, let's get uh, this going. That's This is what I was talking about. Here is your, uh, well, interesting. So our power button right there, hear that? Okay, so you will be able to use it outside. I don't know how in the world one would uh, take this apart if you were to solder it somehow. Maybe you could do it from the, uh, the underside, I don't know. But um, putting this in a case, folks, would be rather difficult unless you op op left the case open and you reach in and do that deal, right? All right, so let's get... Uh, Let's get this moving. So first thing I'm going to do, folks, take the i5-9400F out, and you may have noticed I cleaned it off. Um, and we're going to stick in our i7-9700F. So what does that mean? That means this is going to need a graphics card for sure, because uh, it's not going to work with a... Uh, CPU that ends in uh, F, right? Those kind of CPUs need graphics cards. They don't have integrated graphics. So we've got that. Let's find a uh, CPU cooler. So we're going to go ahead and install this VTrue Darkstorm. I, uh, I got this for free from them, so why not use it? And we'll use their thermal paste. So this will be a, a little bit better than a uh, oops than using the stock Intel cooler that came with this. And so we said we were gonna put our ring in here. We have to put these in the right spot. Looks like third position for LGA 1700.
So hopefully I have all the parts in the in the box. I have used this before. And a third one. So somewhat similar design, folks, to uh, what we pulled out of here. So this comes with four pins. Jam those in there. And we just pop these in here and should stay nice and secure. But this does pushing these pins out makes these things flare out. And you should see them on the other side. So it does move around a little bit. Thermal paste is on. And we want the cable the cable um, to be closest to the four pin. So we will uh, let's see. You have to latch one side of this on and then come back in with the other side. And, of course, I put the cable on the wrong side, but, all right, so, now you use this gizmo to drop this down. just till I get this on here all right so that took me a couple minutes basically we had to pull this lever here down and get it on to the other side and I'm gonna wrap this around so we can kind of hide it this is a three pin going into a uh, four pin okay so that's in there. We'll put a ram back in. This is just uh, 2666 megahertz. Can go in only one way, okay? So one side shorter than the other. And ideally, you would have the exact same brand and type of ram. And you want to hear either a double snap or hope if you do it the same exact time, you won't be able to tell it double snapped. All right, so there is that, folks. Now, what do we have next? I don't know what I said I was going to do next. Um, we got to put our uh, get our M.2 back in. So negative about this folks is with this design there's nothing to uh, connect that to right so the M tattoo is unfortunately going to be free floating um, maybe later we can figure out something to do there with that but uh, for now that is what it is now to get a power supply connected to this thing we need our adapter cable that we've previously used. So this cable I've used, I don't even remember who makes it. it used to get people uh, to click on the link and purchase it. And I, I sold a ton of these through Amazon Associates. But uh, it's been a while since somebody's done that. 8-pin uh, goes in here. All right. So then we just need our power supply. 
and we're not going to use the uh, the one we originally had. So I have a crap ton of power supplies. Um, you know, for this CPU, even though it's an i7, it's not necessarily going to uh, power up a 3090 and, um, you know, be a great combination with the i7-9700F. So we're just going to go with a uh, 400 watt power supply UVGA white. I don't think I'm going to hook up anything greater than, say, a GTX uh, 16, 1660 Super. For some reason that is not clicking in there. There we go. Now it's in there. Okay. So you want that in there. Still not in there, actually. Um... Alright, so that's in. Now, CPU power connector. So this will have a, hopefully I'll have two um, 4x4s on it. Yeah, there we go. And we only need to connect one. And that's over here in this back corner. This can only go on one way, so... Now there are two of these. Okay, so if the first one doesn't work, try the second one. All right, and like I said, we need a graphics card, so I'm gonna grab one. GTX 1660 is an MSI. Now, if you put a graphics card in here that does not require uh, that you have external graphics, then uh, you won't have to do this step, but in our case, we do. All right, so this cable has a eight or an eight and a six, or basically it could be two sixes, but uh, we're going to connect the six. Plus two, all right, makes eight right in here. And got to be careful the way we've got this designed. All right, so we've got RAM. We have a solid state drive. Windows is uh, the license is embedded. And so now, folks, I'm going to plug in the HDMI port. Now, one thing I didn't tell you, you know, be safe, right? This is completely disconnected from the wall, so we are ready to uh, get this thing powered up. I'm going to grab the cable. And say a little prayer. Hopefully everything will go good. So, one thing about my Dell, for some reason it would... Pretty much start when I, I would uh, plug it in the first time. So who knows? It may just do it here. Yep, did it again. Uh, yours hopefully will not do that. Now why is it doing that? Do not know. Could not tell you. Not something I, uh, even as many computers as I fixed, that I'll be able to figure it out. So it starts up like that, right? And then the next time I have to hit the power button. And then it should stay on. So I'm going to walk around. I got to plug the. That power supply sounds like it's on its last leg. It hasn't been used in three years, probably. So maybe that was not an ideal one to use. Now I'm on the other side over here. We've got a Dell monitor. And it is it is booting up right now as we speak, folks. So 
This is uh this was a success. Yeah, the only thing that we don't have, folks, um, and this, you know, this is something that's not gonna work. I can't use a Wi-Fi card, so I've gotta use something else for Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, little dongle like this. You can check out my unboxing for it. It was $5.99. It's not the fastest speed in the world, but $5.99. And we just, you know, plug that in. Uh, of course, you know, I need a keyboard, a mouse, and all that other stuff to get this really working. But, folks, uh, you now have your Dell 3670 is a real gaming rig. Now, what is the other benefit of taking this outside of the case? Um, it's not, you know, all the dust you're going to get or the potential for damage, right? Like this thing is precariously kind of um, in that position, not the best thing in the world for it. But uh, the best thing about this is you could go with an even longer graphics card now. So if I wanted a 3070, will now work with this, right? Years ago, I had one of the top benchmarks on user benchmark for this uh, Dell 3670. And I always wanted to go back and use a PCI ribbon cable and put a really awesome GPU on it. But uh, didn't want to go through the hassle. Now that it's it's sitting like it is, I could put this on there. I could put a 3090, uh, 3080 Ti, whatever. So... I hope you got something out of this, folks. It was kind of a long video, but, uh, you know, please like. Please check out more of my Dell 3670 videos. Thank you.